Howdy do, my name's Amethyst, and LEGO have officially revealed the first wave of 2023 sets for LEGO City. Embrace yourselves, there's a lot of concepts you won't see coming. Let's start things off with the least interesting sets, starting with the police bike car chase, and this is pretty much what you get with a decent yet uninteresting build for a concept that's been done to death. To my surprise, we have 4 plus stations, and the police station chase is a very flat looking rectangle that looks like it has all the essentials for a police set, so I think the target audience will be pleased with it. The fire station and fire truck on the other hand has its station on the top floor with the bottom reserved for the truck. Up next is the 4x4 fire truck rescue, and this vehicle looks fine but not that interesting. Up next is the fire rescue boat, and this boat looks pretty nice and affordable despite the price bumping mold. Up next is the Fire Command Truck, which looks pretty compact and full of action-packed play features to fuel kids' imaginations. Now we move on to the more interesting sets, starting with the Emergency Vehicles HQ, and even though I'm disappointed that this is the only set to incorporate the road plates, I'm impressed that this playset squeezes in three different emergency professions in one box. Up next is the Mobile Police Dog Training, and this vehicle offers a unique concept for a police set by representing canine training methods through its side builds and minifigures. Up next is the Police Training Academy, a very unique play set for the law enforcement by including a busy obstacle course that provides a lot of play features. Now we move on to a series of small vehicles, starting with the electric sports car, which looks really nice and colourful. Up next is the Vet Van Rescue, and this 4 plus vehicle looks pretty snazzy, but the real draw is getting two animals for a cheap price. Up next is the ATV and Otter Habitat, and whilst the ATV looks fine, the real draw is getting new otters for a cheap price. Up next is the Park Tractor, which looks very charming for its simplicity, and it also offers a cheap way to get a squirrel. The last of the small vehicles is the Construction Digger, which looks pretty good despite its minimal appearance. Up next is the 4x4 Off-Roader Adventures, and this chunky vehicle loves to show off its wheels, but outside of that, it looks fine. Up next is the Recycling Truck, a compact and very beautiful truck that oozes with teal. Up next is the Gaming Tournament Truck, and despite being a large vehicle, this set is a mobile eSports tournament full of consoles and merchandise. Also, I can't help but wonder if the Gamer Girl has a brand new hairpiece. Speaking of gaming, the profession is represented in the Cyber Stunt Bike, where one of the gamers drives a vibrant yellow variant of the template vehicle. But we also have the Bear Stunt Bike, which offers a very colourful minifigure driver. Up next is my favourite vehicle, the Penguin Slushy Van, and this breathtaking beauty is full of unique details, as well as a fresh concept that hasn't been done before. Last up is the Custom Car Garage, and whilst there's very little play set in this playset, it encourages customizability for each of the cars included, which is just brilliant in my opinion. That's pretty much all I have to say about these LEGO City sets. I know that it's too easy to make fun of LEGO City for recycling the same concepts over and over again, but this way it feels like it offers a lot more new things, which are most definitely worth supporting. Anyway, that's all for now. Tell me what you think of these sets in the comments below. And thanks for watching.